Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kev here, back at it again with another tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I edit my headshots. Now, believe it or not, this is the first time I've done headshots and I've learned quite a few things. First off, it is more than just having the subject sit down and smile in front of the camera. A lot of it is directing your subject to hit certain poses so that the lighting and angles work in their favor. Secondly, one shot is not enough. Trial and error go beyond different angles and lighting. For example, how someone smiles and looks at the camera can be different with every shot, so you just have to keep trying until you find a winner. Lastly, editing the photo so the subject looks their best is super fun. And I'm going to take you through how I edited my own headshot. So this is the unedited shot, and we're just gonna open up our sliders in Lightroom, and then just start pushing these around. Looking at the histogram, we have pretty decent exposure. Uh, we'll bump it up a little bit. Contrast, maybe I won't touch this just yet. Highlights are already bright. Shadows, I'll bump up. Uh, blacks, I'll probably bump up just to bring out some more detail down here. And okay, we're done. <laughs> just kidding. I'll actually push the highlights a little bit down and I've been told that my skin has some olive tones to it so I think a green uh, attire would help out so we're just going to adjust some colors let us select our vest and then push this towards something like that that looks better already so my skin is very like not fine. Like you see a bunch of pores and imperfections and like wrinkles and crevices. So an easy way to turn that down is to decrease the overall texture. Let's zoom in so we can see exactly how we're doing. So start at zero, crank that down slightly and that's probably too much, whoops. My mouse is bugging right now. I'll keep it there. Clarity, we could probably push down just a smidge. I'll probably keep it like that. And I have like these scars or wrinkles in my forehead or my brow line. And, you know, for a headshot, that is not too aesthetically pleasing so we're just gonna heal that up go to the healing tool that's the brush tool go to the healing tool paint that out and voila maybe find a better spot for it so it looks more natural we'll do this one too paint that out boom perfect brow line maybe get rid of these blemishes all right we're looking good not to sound vain but this the photo itself is looking better than it was so let's zoom out see how it looks all right it looks like we're basically done I do I'm self-conscious about my double chin area so to accentuate my jawline just a touch and I'm talking like negligible differences. I'm going to take the brush tool and I'm just going to paint a little bit under here. This is probably too thick of a brush. Let's undo that. Let's um, take the brush tool again. We're just going to outline the jawline this much and Increase the exposure a touch. That's too much. Like, just right. Oh, too much. That might be even good. So when we zoom out. Now, I'm talking about negligible differences, right? And that's pretty much it. I still like my original edit better. But, you know, for example purposes, this is what this video is about. It's... It's just these little, little things that help out. Oh, sorry. 
One more thing that we're going to do is make my teeth whiter. So we're going to take the brush tool again. We'll add a brush. We'll paint the teeth. Now, everyone's teeth is naturally yellowish, uh, depending on how well you brush your teeth. Uh, so we're going to we're going to counter the yellow by adding some blue or turning down the temperature. And I'm talking very, very negligible amounts or just until like that's probably too much. Like I'll keep it there and then we could just increase either the whites slightly and highlights very slightly. That's probably as far as I'll go. That's too much. <laughs> you see, you see how little you have to do to uh, to make these changes like effective. Let's just turn down the whites a little bit more. Or what else did I do? That's it, right? Oh, here, whites. That's it, man. That's it. That's all I'm going to go for with the teeth. So as you can see, if you nail the pose, if you nail the lighting, what you have to do in post is very, very minute detail edits. It's like almost negligible. To recap, all I really did was adjust the exposure. I adjusted some colors to match my skin tone a little bit better, got rid of a few wrinkles and whitened up the teeth. And that's all I think you really need to make a very good looking effective headshot and if we take a look back at some of the other shots that I rejected like I just did not like the smile I did not like the shapes within the frame like I didn't like the posture here I didn't like how my smile looked here this was getting close to something that felt right this was even better. So here, at this point, I liked the angle of my head. I liked the shape that my jawline made. I liked the angle of the smile. This one was closer. This one, my smile was forced because I was holding it for, you know, a few seconds and then my facial muscles tired out. This one, I smiled the most naturally because I smiled right before the shutter went off. And that's, uh, I think that's a helpful tip. Like, don't have your subject smile and hold the smile until you're ready. Like, have them smile right before the shutter goes off. And that is how I edit my headshots. So, hope that was informative, or at the very least, entertaining. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.